Hi everyone, welcome back to reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to segment your funnels. If you look at this store in the main dashboard, if I scroll down and go to my top funnel list, you can see that I only have one funnel named conversion monster funnel and the trigger for it, which is the condition for the segmentation shows all orders. Now let's say that I want to create a trigger that will display a specific funnel only to customers who bought a specific product. All I have to do is just click on create a new funnel and then create an empty funnel from scratch. And as you can see, I've been redirected to the reconvert funnel editor. If you want to learn more about the funnel editor, just click the help video here to learn more. For this specific example, let's say that I want to display a mug as an upsell to every customer who bought a specific shirt from my store. So I'll start by clicking the edit next to the trigger box. And then I'm going to choose from my categories by default. It's set to all orders, but I'm going to click on the drop down to select my trigger. As you can see, I have a lot of options here from customer information, order details, product purchase data, and other options. Again, because we want to display a mug to people who bought a specific shirt, I'm just going to select product purchase data. As you can see, once selected, a lot of new options are being opened up for me. First, I'm going to have to select the parameter from the product purchased. If I open up this drop down, you can see that I have a lot of options going from weight, variant name, product title, product type, etc. In this specific case, I want a specific product. So I'm going to search for a specific product. Now I need to choose if I want the entire order to be that product or just at least one product within this order. So I'm going to select at least one product and then I need to select the condition, which is is or is not. In this case, it's going to be is this product and we're going to select the shirt. You know what? Let's go for the reconvert polo shirt. So if this product is being purchased, I would like to display an upsell, but we'll get to that in a second. As you can see, you can add multiple and or conditions to make the condition more complex. For the sake of the example, I want to add a condition that only if someone bought this purchase and it's a repeating customer, only then display the upsell. So in order to set it up, I'm just going to say that the customer information in this case, and here I'm going to set up the number of orders is larger than one. So only if it's a repeat customer and he bought this shirt, then show him the funnel. Now, I don't really need this condition for the example, so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to minimize the trigger box. And the next step would be to add my upsell. So I'm going to click on add upsell and then create a new offer. And as you can see, my offer editor is now opened up in a new pop up. If you want to learn more about the offer editor, just click the help video button here to learn more. I'm going to start by renaming this one into reconvert mug. Let's make it a 15% off offer. And now I can start customizing my offer again, because this is not a tutorial for the offer editor. I'm just going to fast forward and show you when it's done. Great. And as you can see, my offer is ready and I'm going to offer this mug at 15% off to anyone who buys the reconvert polo shirt. Now I'm just going to hit save and close the offer editor. As you can see, my upsell is being added right over here. For the sake of the example, for this funnel, after someone watches the first offer, I'm just going to add the conversion monster thank you page at the end, which is our pre-built thank you page template including all of our best practices. And this is it right now. My triggered funnel is ready. If I hover over the trigger, you can see here that the condition is product purchase data, specific product, and then at least one product in the order is the reconvert polo shirt. And then we're going to show him the reconvert mug 15% off. I can also expand the entire funnel to see more details. I'm going to shut this down for now. I'm going to end by renaming the funnel right here and call it 15% off mug. Just click outside to save. I'm going to turn this funnel on and I'm going to hit save. The last thing you need to know about funnel segmentation is priority. What happens if you have two or more funnels that are both being triggered for the same order? 
In order to sort it out, let's just go back to the reconvert dashboard. And now that I'm back in my reconvert dashboard, I'm going to scroll down to my top funnels section. As you can see, now I have two funnels. The first funnel, the conversion monster funnel that was here before, shows up in here and the trigger is all orders. Above it, we have the 15% off mug and the trigger is according to what we just set up. The way our system works is whenever an order comes in, we're going to check the funnels according to priority. We're going to start with the first funnel and check if the trigger is being met. In this case, if at least one product in the order is the reconvert polo shirt, and if so, we're going to show this funnel. If not, we're going to move to the second funnel and check the trigger, in this case, all orders, so it's definitely going to be triggered, and so on and so forth. If none of the triggers are being met, we're going to display the default funnel, which is being created just for that reason. If you want to change the default funnel, just scroll a little bit up to the default funnel section, and you can select from the list of your funnels right here. In order to change the funnel priority, just use the six dots next to the priority number and drag it to the desired location. As you can see, now my 15% off mug funnel is at the second priority compared to the conversion monster funnel. This is it guys, this is everything you need to know about funnel segmentation. If you need more help, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our live chat support. On the bottom right corner of the screen, we're available 24-7 for you. I'll see you on the next video and good luck with Reconvert.